Uh, coffee lovers rejoice. Harvard researchers say the energy boosting drink is not only healthy for you, but the more the better. So what is the ideal amount of coffee we should drink and what are the health benefits? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned it's not just how much you consume, but how you do it. Is it hard to hold back how much coffee you drink when you work in a coffee shop? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whether it's jump-starting our body. The first cup really gets you kind of started in the morning. Or helping us enjoy the day. I get this nice little boost of energy. At least I think I do also like being out and doing things. The wonders of this bean-turned-brew have many hooked. What is the sweet spot for you? I would say anywhere between like three and five. Two if I'm having it in a single seating. Otherwise, maybe three to four. Be proud, gentlemen. Latte with an extra shot. A Harvard study tracking coffee consumption and brain health in older men found those who drank coffee have less cognitive decline than those who did not. Those drinking three cups a day had the lowest decline of all. That surprises me. I think done in certain quantities, it's not as harmful as you think it is. Dr. Wobachet Ayanu is a cardiologist who also enjoys a couple cups of joe. I do not want three to be the floor, but rather the ceiling people are thinking about. What are some of the health benefits of coffee? From my specific area, there is a cardiovascular uh, benefit of it. People often drink coffee prior to an activity, like work, exercise, running errands, which can stimulate the body and mind. Another Harvard study found that daily coffee drinkers tend to live longer. Anything that's not harmful that can get you outside, get you to socialize, to become more active, to be more engaged, chances are it will have overall uh, good health benefits. But remember, much of these benefits are from black coffee, not the popular additions. So like milk, sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah. You, know. you get right in the kind of like borderline between like an actual like soft drink. By the time you make it, you add your white chocolate, mocha and everything, the coffee drink itself becomes a meal. Just because a few cups benefits some people doesn't mean everyone should be getting a refill. Doctors say to stop if you feel jittery and avoid it if you have issues sleeping. Kind of cool to hear that. Jeff Wagner. I'm on track with what the experts are saying. WCCO 4 News. A non-filtered coffee like a latte or a French press might taste better, but they're not healthier. Filters trap oily substances during the brewing process, and that would raise your bad cholesterol. If you have a good question for Jeff, email him by visiting WCCO.com links.